Welcome to another Getting Started video for Octopus Deploy. This video will cover target roles and how they relate to deployments. By the end of this video, you should have a better understanding of how roles are used to select deployment targets, why you'd pick specific role names over generic role names, and finally, how to define roles on targets hosting multiple applications or websites. Before jumping into the demo, it is important to understand how roles work at a high level. Roles are assigned to deployment targets and are how Octopus Deploy selects targets during a deployment or runbook run. They can be generic, such as IIS Server 2019, or specific, such as Hello World API. A deployment target can have one to N roles. In this diagram, each target has two or three roles assigned. When a deployment or runbook run occurs in Octopus Deploy, it will look for targets assigned to those roles for that specific environment. For example, a project referencing the role, Hello World API, will select Dev Server 01 and Dev Server 02 when deployed to the development environment. When the same release is deployed to the test environment, it will select Test Server 03 and Test Server 04, as those are the servers with the Hello World API role assigned to them. Let's see this all in action. You can view roles assigned to your deployment targets by going to the Infrastructure section then selecting deployment targets in the left menu. As you can see, the servers in this instance match the diagram from earlier. This example will use targets with the Hello World API role. Navigating to the deployment process in the Hello World project will show the only step is currently running on the Octopus Deploy server. Let's change that step to target the Hello World API role. Let's see how Octopus Deploy selects the deployment targets by creating and deploying a release. It is possible to see targets Octopus Deploy will select for a deployment by clicking on the arrow button next to the development environment in the preview and customize section. In this example, this deployment selected two machines, DevServer01 and DevServer02. As we saw before, they are both assigned to the role Hello World API. Promoting the same release to test changes the servers to test server 03 and test server 04. Each step in the deployment process can have one to n roles selected. Octopus Deploy treats multiple roles as an or, not an and. For example, we will add Hello World UI to the same step as before. This tells Octopus Deploy to select targets with either Hello World UI or Hello World API roles. Creating a new release and starting a deployment to development will show the same two targets as before being selected. This is because both of those targets have the same Hello World API role, along with one of them being assigned to the Hello World UI role. Promoting the same release to test will show Octopus Deploy has now selected Test Server 01 and Test Server 02, in addition to Test Server 03 and Test Server 04 from before. It is recommended to assign both generic and application-specific roles to the same deployment target as each have their own use case. Specific roles should be used for deployment and application runbooks. This makes it easier to model environments. For example, in the development environment on the diagram, there are two targets for the Hello World application, with one of them having both the UI and API roles. While in the test environment, there are four targets for the Hello World application, two for the UI and two for the API. Generic roles are handy for maintenance runbooks. Having a role such as IIS Server 2019 or Nginx Server Ubuntu 2004 makes it easier to create a maintenance runbook to target those servers and run configuration updates or install the latest version of common software such as Java or .NET. Here are some tips to keep in mind while configuring roles in your Octopus Deploy instance. Multiple roles on a deployment step are treated as OR statements. Use generic roles such as a web server or application server for maintenance runbooks. Use specific roles such as Hello World UI for deployments and application runbooks. Links to additional resources as well as links to contact support can be found in the description below. Thank you for watching and happy deployments!